would like to share some of the tips I followed when I was taking my physics theory and because of that I was able to improve my score a lot. Uh, while you're taking your exam, it's always a good idea to solve problems related to a, a one topic, uh, one at a time. Which means that if you choose classical mechanics, then solve all the problems uh, from classical mechanics, which are there in the paper. And once you're done, only then move on to the next topic. Uh, because there's a reason why we have separate topics in physics. The problem-solving approach uh, to problems in uh, classical mechanics is certainly different than approach to solving problems in electromagnetism, uh, which is different than uh, solving a problem-solving approach uh, to problems in modern physics. So what happens when you try to solve problems sequentially, which means one after another, then your brain has to switch this particular approach, and that tires the brain. So I did this small experiment and I observed that actually it improved my performance a lot. Use your common sense and we'll have some problems for sure which can just be solved uh, by using common sense. For example this problem here. Now for the uninitiated short shield radius might be a scary term. Uh, but if you look closely this term is not really playing any role and just by using common sense we can tell that it should be option E which is the right answer. So there will be problems which can just be solved using common sense. Use elimination technique like for example this problem here. Now the question is, the, uh, well let's go back, what we have here is um, prism and there's a light ray which is being deflected by this prism and the angle of deflection is delta and the question is that we have to find this angle of deflection delta. Uh, well if you do not know the right answer then it's not really possible to solve this problem in two minutes and this was a problem which actually was in my own exam paper and I solved this using uh, elimination technique and I was able to get to the right answer. I was very happy. So let's look at one of these uh, at, at these options. Uh, looking at option A, we can see that it's sine inverse alpha plus delta divided by beta plus gamma. Now if you refer back to the original diagram, we can tell that alpha plus delta divided by beta plus gamma is actually more than 1, which is invalid. We cannot have a sine inverse of a number which is more than 1. So that eliminates option A. Moving on, moving on to option B. Well, uh, tan inverse alpha plus delta divided by beta plus gamma is a valid number, but this is pi plus tan inverse alpha plus delta divided by beta plus gamma. And this whole number is actually more than 180 degrees. But if you refer back to the original diagram, we can see that the angle of reflection delta is actually less than 180 degrees. So that removes option B also. Now moving on to option C. And if you look at option C, this can also be eliminated by the following argument. If you let A go to 0, so if you let, sorry, if you let A go to 180 degrees, so if you let A go to 180 degrees, what happens? Beta plus gamma will also tend to 180 degrees. And we can see that just using geometry. But what happens if we let A go to 180 degrees? Um, the prism starts looking to look like a parallel glass slab. And we all know that for a parallel glass slab, delta should be zero. So uh, we cannot have both the options at the same time. So for A going to 180 degrees, alpha uh, gamma plus beta is 180 degrees, which is a, gl a parallel glass slab, for which delta is zero. So that removes option C also. And that leaves us with option D only. So uh, this way we are able to arrive to the right answer. It may happen that you may not be able to eliminate all the options but still it improves your chance of making a good guess if we can improve, uh, if we can at least remove some of the options using elimination technique. So this is always helpful. Um, moreover 
called um, expectation value if you make blind guesses throughout the paper is zero. So if you just randomly make blind guesses, then it's expected that your your total score will be zero. So if you make good guesses after doing an elimination technique, then this will certainly improve your score. And moving on to the last top, uh, tip, which is that it's always a good idea that when you are solving problems from a certain topic, go through all the problems and solve the ones you, you think you can solve very quickly. And then once you are done, move on to the next level, which means solve, try to solve problems you think will take some time for you. And if we, if we follow this approach, this, this actually helps to, to boost our morale. It gives us confidence that at least we have solved some problems, and this is very helpful. So these are some of the tips which I think will be helpful in general. They were at least very helpful for me. You are you're free to experiment with them, but I thought I'll share them with you. Thank you. Bye-bye.